The last thing a company can afford is a negative DEI training experience. So what do you do? Many people bring a lot to DEI training. For some, it's the trauma of racism or having to code switch or being an only at work. For others, there's the anxiety of saying the wrong thing even when they want to do the right thing. Then still others are skeptical of DEI altogether and view it as woke, political correctness theater, etc. It's a significant needle to thread with a lot at stake. You need to get it right. Employees are trusting you to field a meaningful discussion of issues and experiences relevant to your team and do it with the dexterity necessary so everyone likes the training and sees it as a benefit. What you shouldn't do is the low-hanging fruit, which is to give a bunch of definitions and salute the broad concepts, but shy away from how those issues actually play out in professional environments or having a meaningful discussion. Quality DEI training cuts through the noise. It has empathy and reveals what we all agree on, like decency and mutual respect and professionalism. We move from there into, okay, what are the teamwork skills and expectations we have to meet those ends so that our organization as a group can be effective and win? In our DEI and B-suite, learners step into the shoes of people who are relevant to them. They feel something. They gain, well, empathy. They get to see the world through multiple perspectives. Then we make the connection that DEI is actually a bridge to fundamental teamwork skills for the 2020s and beyond. When you think of topics like unconscious bias, bystander intervention, respecting cultural differences, microaggressions, and more, there's no daylight between DEI principles and professional effectiveness in the modern era. Do you want to check the box? Or are you focused on developing your people, developing their culture, and improving their teamwork?